Who would have thought that after two years of grueling test cricket, it will come down to the final day of the final test match to decide who will be champions of the first ever World Test Championship. It's been that kind of a test match. Rain and weather conditions aside, we really have seen cricket of the highest quality. It's what makes us fall in love with this game. It's what makes us fall in love with test cricket. Two high quality teams giving it everything they have. And the beauty of it all, we're going into the final day with all four results a possibility. An India win, a New Zealand win, a tie and a draw. A draw looking most likely with uh, the manner in which day four ended or technically day five. But we might just be in for one of the greatest days in test cricket. That is also a possibility. Day four saw the test match seesawing both ways. It was India that started really well. They picked up three big wickets prior to lunch, gave nothing away. New Zealand went into a shell and it was advantage India at that time. The Kiwis, well, they discussed something in the dressing room. Whatever it was, it was the right thing because they came out with plenty of intent and they scored plenty of runs. India kept chipping away at the wickets, but it's the runs that came from the tailenders, from the bat of Kyle Jameson and Tim Saudi that helped New Zealand get to India's score and also pick up 32 additional runs as well. So they took the lead in a low scoring test match. Every run is worth its weight in gold and that put New Zealand once again in the, in the advantage when they took that lead. And at tea time, India skittled New Zealand out and with a 32 run lead, what was India's approach going to be? That was the big question. But with the entire passage of play in, in the final session, it was clear that India wanted to play the day out. They wanted to play safe. They lost two wickets. India started with a deficit of 32. They ended up with a lead of 32 at the end of day's play. And now we go into the final day with anything, the any possibility, right? I just think Virat Kohli will come out with a positive intent and maybe with Pujara as well, with Rishabh Pant possibly likely to come in at number five. India are going to try to push. If they do manage to score as many runs as possible as quickly, uh, maybe get to as closer to 200 as possible. Will they force New Zealand to chase this down? The only problem is that will India have enough time to bundle out New Zealand? New Zealand might have the advantage considering that they know how many to score with the number of overs remaining. All in all, it might be a relatively boring day of desk cricket if both teams decide to play it out for a draw. Or we might just be in, like I said, for one of the greatest days in test cricket. Either ways, this is going to be fascinating viewing between two of the best teams in the world. Don't miss out. The final day, we're going to be crowning champions of the WTC.